What's up everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode of 413 Outdoors. In this episode we're going to be tying a little bass jig slash fly. This one's really awesome because you can obviously cast it with the fly rod, but it's also heavy enough where you can cast it with a normal spinning gear. Now, before we get into this video, I really want to just give you a quick update on what's going on here. Um, after that last video that you saw, it was the uh, That's Not What I Expected, the GoPro actually shut off and won't turn on anymore, so it's actually... I sent it back out to the GoPro company. They're sending me back a new one, so not going to be any more videos for until I get it back. It's supposed to be coming back in like three to six-ish days, so hopefully going to have one up for Friday. If not, we'll just do more fly tying vids. Anyway, sick of me talking. Let's get into the video. So to start this fly off, I have a one aught black chrome streamer hook. Of course, you can adjust this to any size you'd like. Start my thread. as typically and then I'm going to be using a 132nd ounce lead free dumbbell eye you're going to tie that in to the bottom of your hook right below the eye like so. Make sure that's on there real good so it doesn't go slipping around. Then we're going to move back to the bend of the hook. And the majority of this fly is constructed out of, well in all actuality all of this fly is constructed out of rabbit strip. So I'm going to need two strips about the length of the hook cut with the grain of the hair. I'm going to cut those off of my larger piece now. Those are roughly the same size as the shank of the hook. I'm going to tie those in upside down on the bottom of my hook here. With the hair pointing to away from the point of the hook with the skin pointing away from the hook, sorry. I'm going to tie both of those in. And then I'm going to cut a piece, a cross cut piece of rabbit hair that's going against the grain. Approximately a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch wide by approximately four inches long. It's going to give you enough material to correctly tie the fly. I'm going to tie that into my hook. I'm going to bring my thread back up in front of the dumbbell eyes. And I'm simply going to palmer that hair as you would hackle or chenille up the length of my fly. I'm 
I'm going to twist it a little bit, make sure it's on there nice and tight. And obviously, we're going to tie off my rabbit strip. Make sure my two strips at the back here are parted apart. Go over it a couple more times just to clean it up. Then I'm going to whip finish the fly. And that's all that she wrote. I leave this little tuft of, fur, tuft of fur here. It's more of a attraction to the angler than it is the fish. It kind of looks like the tail of the crawfish. But this fly actually sits perfectly like you would expect a jig to. And under retrieve because all of the weight is in the nose here. It flutters up and down just like a natural crawfish would. It allows you to hop it along the bottom. Now I tied this one in blue because blue and black is an awesome jig color combination. But of course you can obviously tie it in a brown or green or red, whatever you want to do. I've had the most luck personally with either a dark olive green, a dark brown, tan, and blue are the best because that imitates the natural crawfish in my area. There you have it folks. There's our completed fly. As you can see we have our two appendages, our claws here. And then we have our full length of rabbit hair here. Now what this is going to do down here is it's going to pulsate and our claws are going to move up and down with the movement of the water and the movement of the jig. I've had awesome, awesome luck with this fly, so give it a shot, make it your own. It's easy and super cheap to make. I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody that just watched that whole video. If you click right there, there's a little button that will subscribe you and if you click up there, there's another video for you. And drop me a comment below, let me know what kind of content you want to see from me. If you want to see bass flies, trout flies, fly fishing, what kind of stuff you're interested in. Otherwise, I love it all when you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm Gator, and I'll see you later. Peace.